Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Well, we're going to try to finish this mess up today. We've got all our paneling done. Uh, we got that shelf back in the corner painted. And we screwed it to the wall, which we might have to take it loose again. We run some wire, but today we're mostly wiring. And I've got this, uh, this other big shelf right over here that we need to, uh, I'm going to sand it off and throw a coat of paint on that and and then that'll be ready to put up in the corner back by the other one and we're going to try to get this completely done this weekend I mean there's a couple of small things that we won't get finished up like uh, uh, want to put that little bar along that wall over there that won't be done but I got some hooks to hang my belts on uh, I was going to forge those, but it's just too hot to run the forge right now. And I just really want to get this done so I can actually just take a weekend off and just goof off for a change. So stick around. Let's, uh, let's get to work. My brother right now is wiring in this 220 outlet right there on the wall so we can plug the welder in right there because we had a been using my little 110 welder and it just splatters and crap and doesn't weld very well but with a 220 outlet right there that's going to make things a whole lot nicer because we'll be able to use this welder. This welder uses argon, plus it's a 170 amp welder. This little 110 welder here that I've been using doesn't take argon or anything, and it just, there's no real settings on it. There's high or low, and it splatters real bad and everything, but with this one here, uh, there's not a whole lot more settings on it, but with that argon gas, that's really gonna help uh, mitigate all that splattering and all of that when I weld.
Hey everybody, all right, so uh, we showed you quite a bit of what we were trying to do today. I didn't get a lot of filming done because most of it was just mundane wiring and, you know, putting in some junction boxes and doing some wiring, but my brother got this wired up today. He, uh, he got this 220 plug back in here now so I can use my big welder. We just came off the 220 behind the dryer, ran the wire around by the baseboard here. As you can see, that red wire. So we got the 220 for my big welder, my 170 amp uh, wire feed with argon. That's going to help me weld a lot better. We got a four way in over here. Uh, so now I've got plugged by the bench. I don't know if you remember or not, but that used to be the only outlet I had over here by this refrigerator. That was the only outlet in the garage. Weld that one and one up there by the garage door opener. So now we'll have one over here. We're going to run one right over here. Uh, we'll have a four-way outlet right on that post. I've got my compressor moved over here now. We've got that area cleaned up. That's where that bench was. And I know you're probably thinking, well, there's no more room there than there was when the bench was there. Well, I don't have all that steel piled up on the floor down here anymore. That's all in that steel bin that we built right there. And uh, I've got a lot more space. I don't have to pile stuff on top of one another. But I got that one there all sanded off and painted today. Uh, we had this one done, but that one there need required a lot more work and it was green so it was a little harder to cover, but we got it handled. Got it covered. Then uh, I'm going to put a piece of hemlock right up here on this wall and I've got some hangers where I can hang all my belts up. They're laying here in the floor in a pile. Um, a lot of money right there. We can't be stepping on those and everything. You've got to get those hung up. And then over here, we've run a hot wire up along this beam. And now uh, we've got a junction box in here. We've got some more uh, lights we're going to put up in here. Uh, we put this, we built a little trough up here today. I showed you a little earlier in the high speed. Put an 8 foot LED strip up there because we're going to put a bar in right here. Um, be 48 inches high. We put some bar stools here. We're going to build a very cool bar. Um, that'll be a video in itself. Building that bar. You're going to love it. Uh, and I don't know if you can tell on the video, but the LED strip has several colors. It fades in and out. We've got a couple of really cool lights we're going to put up here. That's what these wires are hanging down here for. We've got one there and one there. They're kind of old style uh, carriage lights, uh, looking lights. So it's going to be quite cool. We'll put three or four stools there because uh, this is going to be like a combination man cave and shop. So that area over there where the LED strip and the bar is going in and, and kind of that corner of the shop right over there is going to be where we kind of hang out and have a beer and swap lies and all of that. Then of course this side is where all the tools and all the working will take place on my in my forging. The uh, forge will go back here where it always has been. The anvil will go where it's been. Uh, all of this stuff will be moved and and put into better. You know this table will go where it always did. But that little rolling deal there will find a place to put it. Uh, but it's going to be a lot roomier in here and a lot more organized. So we're really happy with it and. Uh, again, we didn't get done, but it's not for lack of trying. Believe me, we've been out here all day. We had to run to Home Depot and pick up some some more lights and what have you to get to put up in here. But we're getting there. We should be able to tie this up by next weekend anyway. So thanks for being here. Thanks for joining us in the shop today on this little, uh, not much of a video, but I wanted to show you some more progress. Like I say, it was mostly running wire and putting in uh receptacles and that so it's pretty mundane stuff just time consuming and uh you know we painted that you saw that so uh thanks for being here thanks for joining us be careful working in your shop and we'll see you on the next one